The multi-row formula. Ultrix defines this tool as one that enables users to utilize row data as a part of the formula creation. That's definitely the case, but I like the analogy Ultrix Ace Kenda used to describe it. I'm paraphrasing here, but think of a classic formula tool as a house. With it, you're able to talk to people on the same floor or row as you. But if you had the multi-row formula tool, it would also be able to talk to people upstairs, in the attic, or even the basement. To get started, let's grab it from the preparation tool category and attach it to our data set. If you're like me, you've inherited a spreadsheet or two that looks like this. You can see that we have null values here where we instead like to see the value of the last value populated above it. Now that we know what we want to accomplish, let's take a look at our configuration. First, we'll find two options, to either update our existing field or to create a new one. If we were creating a new field, we'd want to give it a name and define the field's type and size. For our example, we'll update our existing field, which is going to retain all the same field specs. Next, we'll confirm the numrow selection to set the row's variables that display. We'll keep ours at 1, which displays the following variables below. Row minus 1, which can be read as the row before the active row. Row plus 0, this is our active row. This is where our result will go. And finally, row plus 1. This can be read as the row after our active row. There's a couple other important considerations for your configuration. Defining what to do with values for rows that don't exist using this dropdown, and confirming our group by option, which allows us to start our expression over when we reach different values in our column. For our example, we can keep both of these on their default setting. We already know what we want to modify in our field, which is to populate all values that are null with the latest populated value. Let's write that out logically. If our year is null, then look at the previous row for a value. Otherwise, let's keep our current value. End. Let's run our workflow and check our results. Over in our results window, we can see that the years field is now completely populated with our desired result. And that's it, our walkie talkie tool to allow us to interact with data up and down in our fields. Thanks for watching. You can find out more about this tool's capabilities in the Altrix tool documentation, which can be found in the description section of this video. Keep up with the latest Data Coach videos by hitting that subscribe button. And if you have an Altrix tool or macro you want to see included in the two minute tool collection, give us a shout on Twitter at AskTessalation or tweet at me at Nick612Hayland. Until next time, your data coach and Altrix ace, Nick Hayland.